And my concern sometimes is that there are organisations banned in Pakistan, organized, the same organisations banned in the UK, and yet they seem to be able to maintain politico-religious structures, they seem to be able to organise, they seem to be able to raise funds. And the UK really, sh and Pakistan, should have learned its lesson with the 7-7 bombings, where two of the four attackers had trained in camps in Pakistan, and obviously they used those skills to then come back to the UK. And that's a real problem. So we can't take our eye off the ball. We can't take our eye off events in Pakistan. We can't take our eye off uh, areas where some of these jihadist organisations from Pakistan have influence and are able to recruit young people. And I think Pakistan has an historical problem, which is the perception is driven largely by the United States, but also by others. Perception is that you have harboured al-Qaeda in the past, that there are enough supporters of al-Qaeda and similar organisations um, in Pakistan. Similarly, as we've heard from questions from the audience today, there's a feeling in the United Kingdom that the majority of Muslims don't believe that 9-11 was perpetrated by, by Muslims, sorry, by, by, yeah, by Muslim terrorists. So what, what Pakistan has to do, of course, it has to draw upon its own expertise in this area. There's a lot of Western-centric views given to Pakistan about how they should deal with things. But Pakistan are the country who have the expertise, the knowledge, the experience of dealing with terrorism, far more than anyone in the West does. So I think we should be learning lessons from Pakistan as much as Pakistan should be learning lessons from people like me coming from the West to talk to them. But they have to take a very systematic approach. They have to be shown to be engaging in all of the anti-terrorism efforts around the world. That includes looking at the financing of terrorism, which is a major issue. Um, not so much the hiding of, of criminal organizations in Pakistan. I think that's always going to happen in any jurisdiction.